Hey guys, today we're going to show you a foam roll sequence for the lower body. Foam rolling is very beneficial. It promotes blood flow to the muscles, increases flexibility, and can relieve muscle pain. For each muscle, you want to keep in mind some key points. First, you want to divide the muscle into two zones, an upper and a lower zone. Second, you want to use different techniques like rolling, fanning, and stretching. And lastly, you want to do each muscle for about one to two minutes. We're going to foam roll our calves. You can either do this both legs at the same time, one leg with the other leg as support, or for more pressure, you could cross your legs. You want to do this with two zones. First zone being from the bottom of your knee to half calf, and then the second zone being halfway to your ankle. Start with the first zone. You're going to roll back and forth for one to two minutes. You want to roll this out slow and controlled. You then move on to the second half. This zone is also for one to two minutes. You can also try fanning by rocking back and forth. Or you can try stretching by bringing your toes up to the sky and back down to the floor. Now we're going to go over how to foam roll your IT bands. You're going to be in a sideline position with the foam roller underneath your hip. You can either be on one leg with this other leg out for support, or for added pressure, you can put one leg on top of the other one. So first you're going to divide it into two zones. First one is going to be from your hip to your mid thigh. You're going to slowly go up and down, foam rolling nice and easy for one to two minutes in that first zone. Again, that first zone is going to be from your hip all the way down to halfway down your thigh. After you're done with that, you're going to foam roll the bottom half of your IT band, so your second zone. This one, again, nice and easy. This one's going to be from your knee up to halfway up your thigh. If you want, you can fan by rocking back and forth a little bit. Next, we're going to foam roll our quads. You're going to divide this into two zones as well. First zone being from your hip joint to mid thigh. Start by rocking back and forth, slow and controlled. Doing this for about one to two minutes. You then can move on to the second zone, which is the top of your knee to mid quad. You can also try fanning by going side to side. Or you can try active motion by extending and flexing your knees. Next we're going to foam roll our hamstring. For the hamstring, you can either have both legs out in front of you, or for added pressure, one leg crossed on top of the other. And this one you're going to divide it into two zones. One from just below your glute down to the middle of your thigh, and the second zone is going to be middle of your thigh down to your knee. So foam rolling the first zone, you're going to go slowly and controlled. Be sure to breathe all the way up and down that first zone. First zone. After you've done that for one to two minutes, you're going to move down to your second zone. And you're going to foam roll that all the way from your knee, halfway up your thigh. One to two minutes again. You can also fan to get some pressure across different um, areas of the zone. Lastly, we're going to foam roll our glutes. You're going to start in a sitting position, slightly rotated to the side that you're working on. So for the left glute, we're going to divide this into two parts again, two zones. Bottom zone, one to two minutes. And top zone, one to two minutes. You can also try fanning. And 
don't forget to get the other side.